can I get exclusive use of my home um, in my divorce case in Oklahoma? I'm Tulsa Attorney James Worth, and that's the question that we have. And generally speaking, one of the parties is going to get exclusive use of the home. If either party files for the divorce, then the courts can assume they're not getting along well, that they don't need to be residing in the same house together. And unless both parties are in agreement to reside together in the same house, the court is not going to order that generally speaking. So if either party requests you know, exclusive possession of the marital home, then the court is likely to award that to one of the parties. Now, which party is it going to be? That's what has to be determined by the court based on what the court believes is most fair. So if you're going into that circumstances, you want to be awarded temporary possession of the home while the divorce is pending, then you're probably going to want to go into court with the status quo where you've got temporary possession of the house. So if you're residing in the house and you can get the other party to move out and then you go to court, the court is less likely to disrupt that scenario, more likely to order what's already in place. But that's not a requirement. Ultimately, the court's going to hear the evidence from both sides, and you can make arguments on why it makes most sense for you to be in the house, and then the court can make that determination. If there's kids involved in the marriage, then obviously where the kids are residing, the relationship of the parties on that, who's going to get custody, that can be a big factor as far as who's going to get possession of the house or not. But if the question is, can I get exclusive possession of the home? One of the parties is likely to get exclusive possession of the home while the divorce is pending. The question is whether it's going to be you or the other side, and that's going to depend on all of the facts and what the court believes is the most fair under the circumstances. If you're dealing with this scenario, though, it is fact specific. You're going to want to talk to an attorney about your facts in detail to get legal advice per, uh, pertinent and specific to your circumstances. To get that scheduled with the lawyer at my office, you can go online to makelaweasy.com.